Uh, there's nothing to video. Number one thing, don't look at yourself in the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. I'm just kidding. Hey. I am... I don't know how to start this one. <laughs> What's the better dairy out of those two? Like this one or that one? That one because it's got way, way more long selection. <laughs> Priorities. Yeah. Like that one's close, but if you want more lollies to like sleep from, that's that one. Okay. Yeah. So I love it. That's some like top quality Norton Graffiti, eh? Just this Kristen, Kristen smells, smells like ass. That's, that's fantastic. The Lord's obviously better than that. It's a simile. Like the sun was as bright as my highlight on my face. I'm not okay, coming. Have to put that over there just to I thought you were me I thought you were staying in here and chilling. You don't want to. I want to chill. Looks like my bro left me. Sit on the toilet. 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 Well, my name is Phoenix. Phoenix Poleanga. I grew up in Otara, Otara, South Auckland. New Zealand and ah! please go over there please. Nah. Wait, I'm just doing something. I want to play with toys. Wait, we'll play later, okay? I'll bring them after. Okay, yeah. go, go to Johnny. Aww. Also I get feeling so tired of <laughs> Okay, Nani, wanna go? Yeah. Bobby home? Who died? Doesn't know. No, it won't break. Selfie stick. Stick. Look. Oh. Like, sideways. It's not so much. Are you checking it on Facebook? Nah. What? Nah. Huh? Just videoing. What? Just videoing. <laughs> Georgia. He's a uh, 25. He's wasted, G. He's walking up, he's squeezing random girls' asses. He's an ugly, bro. He's gonna get us arrested, guys.
<sighs> I might have to skate to Layton's. Crap. Might take me a while. Guess we're going on an adventure, fools. So, I was born in Thai Happy. I've kind of lived in the same house in the same town my whole life. So, I know basically everyone in this town. It's pretty hard to get lost in a town like this. Not even joking, this is the best pizza in the world. I just watch from a distance. There you go. I reckon growing up in a small town is better than growing up in the city and stuff because you have, I think, more freedom because it's, I think it's more safe. This is only like the backyard. Well, front yard, technically. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, wow, he lives there? <laughs> oh, shit, nigga. That's Hemi. Say fuck off, Hemi. That's Ihaka. Say hi, Ihaka. High five. High five. High five. Me and Bae. Mm. <laughs> Look at that ice cream. When did you guys eat that? Like four days ago or something? Two days ago. It's super gross. Whoa, shit. What are you up to today? Are you gonna help me with my, rebuild my husky? Moira is a small town about an hour or so outside of Whangarei, which is the nearest Blanket. city. Blanket! Uh, everyone in Moira is pretty much related. Please. Smoking. Are you videoing? Yeah. My family comes from Matawaya, which is like that way. <laughs> no, I love Otara. I mean, Otara is like been perceived differently. Some people still think it's like you know real like slang gang and bang. You know what I'm saying? Twist. Twist the Hershey. Do you have a one now? Oh, no, last one. Okay, sorry. What I don't like about it, like, I think the poverty mindset of Otara kind of like ticks me off that um, opportunities aren't really given up to those kids or they feel like they don't, they're not worthy of it. I bought this freaking three dollar crap. I come from Nepal. We came as, as a refugee in New Zealand. When I first came to New Zealand, like, I only know one word, like, which is like, hi, and then like, I just like, sit in a class and listen. Um, I've got lots of friends. I've got lots of people that come riding. Just, oh, this is gonna be good right again. Yeah. yeah. I live at a place called The Farm. It's a thousand acre farm with horses and motorbikes and kayaks and school camps. We have school Dude, camps coming in. How high up, Derek, can I am? I ride and fix motorbikes here. That's kind of just how I fell in love with the place. I told Mike, oh yeah, I want to become a farmer, but, but really I just wanted to ride dirt bikes. Now, I'm going to show you the bike shed. This is what I do on a day to day basis. This is our fix bikes. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of dead bikes, a bunch of live bikes as well, and there's, there's the bike that I need to work on. Put back there, so that side frame there is going on that bike there. The story of me so far. Ooh, where do I start? 
Um, this is like the short version. I was always going in and out of different homes. I think I went through 300 different homes throughout my whole life. I'd just run away for the sake of running away because YOLO. Like just stealing heaps of stuff, smoking heaps of drugs, drinking heaps of alcohol. It's just pretty much fucked up the whole time. Hustling off people like, do you have any spare change? Do you have any money? Asking for money off people just because I could, because I didn't want to go back into Civs Care because I just didn't like it. I live with my mum, my dad, and my two sisters. They're. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing, Cree? Don't harass me! Don't harass me, Cree! Thank you for the chocolate. Oh. Cool. <laughs> it's a mess. My dad is not my real dad, but I'll consider him my real dad because he's raised me most of my life. Yep. Hey, who are you? Your sister. What's your name? Awesome girl. What's your real name? Some Super girl. Have a look by what's your on name? my shelf. Super girl. Nia, what's your name? <laughs> Super girl. Ayla, what's your name? Nia. Ayla. My sisters, they argue every second of the day. It's so annoying to listen to, which is why I'm which is why a lot of the time I just told him shut up. So I'm just gonna tell you because she's already told you about me. Uh, don't touch me. Well, there she goes out with um, what's his name, Manaya. Nikura. No, Nikura. Nikura. And she oh. got. Did. To kiss him. Mhm. Mm <gasps> Mom. It was a day. Naya kissed her boyfriend, Nikura. I'm currently 18 years old. Uh, what else? I'm um, of. Samoan, Tongan, and Yuean descent. And yeah, I love to dance. And I've been dancing for about eight years. You, boy, you gotta cry. I catch the boy in a different time zone. My grind strong, make them all think they grind wrong. I'ma get it popping when I sign. We got into dancing. Started there, it was, it was a hard um, thing to sort of like get used to. Like the whole team would sing like power raids, knee pads, like the latest Nikes, they got all the gears. I'm going to feel like Haru and Hori. I was like, <coughs> and so I'd like try and um, tell my dad, oh dad, could you give me a, could you give me a power read? What, a power read? For, for 480? <laughs> <laughs> we went to LA this year for World of Dance finals. And we play seventh. So fine. So fine. So fine. 14 hours is for five minutes on stage. Good experience. Probably not gonna go back. <laughs> no. Um I get a course, uh Tewananga or Aotearoa course I'm doing. Um I did it the year before I got kicked out of school. Okay, think about this. Okay, while we're here though, can you believe I have to hold this on my face and just like stare at it, just like. Yeah. I'm not saying everybody has to date their best friend, but like, why so wouldn't you? As well, but that just makes things worse. Because then people stare at you even more for holding a fucking selfie. No, we're not a couple. But I, I don't really plan on going anywhere anytime soon with anyone else. Um, and neither does she. Hey, I try to make it as soon as possible. And then that's why I was like, Dorothy! And then we, we got here at like 20 past. Yeah. 
What do I like about myself? My eyebrows. And I'm an especially gifted napper. What do I wish I could change? My hair. Like. It doesn't really look like it. But there's a lot of this. And honestly at work I sweep friggin' five times a day. It falls out all over the place. I did my washing for like the first time in my life the other day. There were like seven hairballs in there. Like how cats get fur balls. It's like my hair just sheds. See if you can notice this because I'm, I'm a little embarrassed by this because this is a really hard thing to deal with growing up. But I'm looking right at the camera and one of my eyes is probably lazy right now. It's probably my left one. Yeah, it's my left one. Uh, left eye is lazy. Uh, sometimes it's really bad, sometimes it's not. Um, yeah. If you are wondering, if you are wondering, Danielle, shouldn't you be doing some homework? Or shouldn't you be revising? Or doing something for school? Because I do have a lot of stuff to do for school. I have internals due on the first day back at school. And I'm blow drying my nails. Because I have my priorities straight. Have you ever seen such fabulous nails? Not even done at a salon. <gasps> they need like a big choice bar, eh? A mark. The leopard bow. Leopard print. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I, I hardly get any time to um, chill and alter anymore. Where do I usually hang out? Like, yeah, it sucks. It sucks to say, like, you know, social media and. Um, yeah, you can teach. I watched a video called What Guys Look For In Girls and it was basically these three guys saying things like what they find attractive in girls. Oh, she has to entertain me. Or she can't have any hair on her arms because I find that gross. Last night I stayed up till about two o'clock in the morning just talking to my friends about stuff. Just through like Messenger on Facebook. We have a group chat, so it's like all of my friends just constantly talking, and if anyone has anything on their mind, they just say it, and we have a conversation about it. But, like, everything you post is going to be there, like, forever. And it's... It's cool, but it's like, you've got to be cautious of what you say and what you do. This is Hamish. Tell me about yourself. I broke my finger. Who broke his finger and how did he do that? By looking at you. Hamish. Can you please do it? The password's not working for me either. 
<laughs> look at that face. <laughs> um, my Wi-Fi is not working. Here is my tablet. Yeah, that's because the password and that's changed. I'll have to go back in and set it up. Oh, how do we do that? I do it shortly. Oh, how long will it take? Um, when I actually do it, about two minutes. So when are you going to actually do it? Um, when I've run this cable. How approximate that time you until... probably ten minutes. So 12 minutes and I'll have Wi-Fi. Great. Yeah, I actually have like a surprising number of friends who have anxiety, but like, I guess, like, you know, even if there are people that you don't expect to have anxiety and you find it out, like, you kind of just can't really be like, oh, I never would have thought you had anxiety, because it just like, I don't know, like, people assume that to not be well, like, you have to look like it or act like it or that there should be something about you that they can like detect it but it like you're not gonna go tell people like hey I'm I'm doing something like later on tonight and someone's picking me up and I like I'm worried about if I don't open the car door properly like you're not gonna say that and then half the time if you do people will be like oh honey you're being irrational like look at it from a bird's eye view like Cool, so I know I'm worrying about something stupid now and that nothing bad's gonna happen but that doesn't fix the worrying. Oh, I know what I can show you all. My quote book. This is my first quote book. This is my little brown book. And all these quotes from my Tumblr. <clears throat> Let's do it, Dave. Okay. You can love someone so much, he thought, but you can never love someone as much as you can miss them. That's from John Green from An Abundance of Catherines. Um, here's a here's a cool thing. Um, so um, this was my dad when he was like. Way younger, obviously way younger, because this article's old as fuck. Um, yeah. And his first season showed good form in the final preseason practice in New Z at New Plymouth Speedway Club held the Waiwakaiho Showgrounds last night. Yeah, so he was he was really good. <laughs> so when I was like two, my dad had to get his tongue removed, his teeth removed, and he had to get a hole in his throat because he um had some forms of cancer. Growing up, he was in and out of hospital, like, all the time. And I was used to it, and I feel really bad, because I couldn't see it coming. Yeah, so Dad was in hospital for, like, a week and a bit. Around then, a week, two weeks, three weeks. Like, and then, um, yeah, Mum came back around, like, three in the morning and told us that he died. Um, there is not one bit of me that thought this was going to happen. Even like in that last few months before he had died, he was working three different jobs. And I remember my mum just like crying on that couch for so long. So when I still lived in England, and this is us having the ball. This was a few days before I left. I thought that when I moved over to New Zealand that I would still maintain the bonds and the friendships that I had in England. Kirsty Lee, Danielle. Christmas, there is no such thing as a family Christmas. It's literally me, my mum, my dad and Cameron. So we spend our Christmases um, kind of doing our own thing. I suppose it just makes you feel kind of lonely. That, I think that's why I spend so much time with my friends. Yeah, I had to be one eye. But profile picture and I've seen him. When did I come back? Oh. That was not my. I tried to oh. fail. Fail <laughs> can be Oh, hi. Why can't I? No, that's not yeah, like They're like my pseudo family. They are the family that I had to leave behind. And it's kind of weird because I see how they are with their families because 
I kind of thought I wish I had something like that where I could um, go over to my family's house and everybody would be there and we could have an announcement because I never really had that family thing, the big family thing. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Huh? No? What's on the news? Number of, of people that have been killed. You're attacking young people, you're attacking um, families, um, carrying out attacks against ordinary French people. The objective clearly was to... Cameron, can you put your headphones in, please? I went through a phase the middle of this year of watching like 9-11 documentaries. That one. I used to watch a David Attenborough series on TV and that was all about, you know, the polar animals and how global warming was affecting them. But I always thought, you know, I can't do anything about it. It's in Antarctica. It... Then I started, you know, reading up about it and reading about oh, how in 50 years, if we don't stop the ways that we are living, then there will be no, like, earth. It, the sea levels will rise and half of the half of the cities in the world will be gone. That freaked me out a lot. I don't think that I could talk to my parents as much as I can talk to my friends about the whole global warming, vegan, all my worries factor. Mostly because they were brought, brought up in a different time where this was not a big deal and it won't really concern them because they, they might not be here when the whole global warming thing is coming into factor where things are going wrong with the earth. Do you want to know what these are, Mama? Bruce. 100% natural. Gluten free. GMO free. 100% high. What's GMO mean? I don't know. What does it mean? Eh? Get more oxygen. It's a lovely day today. Nice and sunny outside. I don't have anyone else to really talk to, so I thought I'd talk to a camera. Mike and I had an argument today. Mike got really angry at me and shit, because apparently I didn't tell him. And then I tried to tell him, and he says, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. This is why I kind of got addicted to chokes, is because when I get in moods like this, I just... I just go get high and forget about it all. I guess there's always problems with, like, everything about how you feel. You can't, like, go hitching or something, which I really want to do. I want to go for go away for a bit. I want to get away from Michael, but I can't. I just, just can't do it because i got no money. It doesn't help that I've got fucking mental conditions or a fucked up cunt. I don't know. Uh, I wish I had some weed. <laughs> Isn't that depressing? Okay, I've had enough of trying to sing and being downy. I'm on Facebook. Dirt bikes is like my one true passion. It's something that I can always rely on. Like if I'm in a shit mood, I'll go for a ride. If I'm in a good mood, I'll go for a ride. Riding is always there for me. I don't know. It's not. Nah, it's actually been a pretty rough week in a bit. I had a close family friend pass away. He's basically the dude who like dragged my ass through high school. Obviously, he wasn't my dad. Um, but in many ways, he was most definitely a father figure. Um, so much stuff he did for me that nobody else really stepped in to do. And I've been trying to like quietly deal with it throughout. Unfortunately, his passing is what triggered the anxiety attacks. It's not what caused them, it's just timing, you know. Maybe I just needed one more thing to just push me over the edge and then 
that happened. It's weird to explain because um, I actually decided to uh, drop the degree. The anxiety was just getting really bad and I just stopped turning up to classes and when I did turn up to a class I was just getting like really violent towards people like out of nowhere and then I'd feel really bad for it. I figured that I needed to stop and um, sort of look after my health because I'm still not really used to this anxiety sort of thing because it's really taken a toll. Where is it now? August. Right now it's only November. Without him I probably wouldn't have been doing the degree in the first place. But I'm gonna make him proud. Um yeah. I'm almost at church. He punched it. Why? What did mum do? Yeah, bum bum. So you punched the window. Don't need to lose gloves. Use something else. Not your hands. I am at church now. Pardon? I'll talk to you soon, Kate. I love you. If you remember the end of last year, Jay's um, not to do it for a long time, has stepped down. We've still got Karina doing the intermediates, but we badly need people who will help us. Okay, um, this God is Siva G, which he lives in the mountain, like that's sort of like we believe in. This uh, God is, um, so it's a thing we like when we like have an exam or something, we like pray to her, like how people will pass. And this Ganesh, like which is elephant God. Saturday is generally my sleep till Sunday day. Today's an exception because it's my birthday tomorrow, but I'm having my party today. And yeah, then Sunday I go to church and I eat some food and then I have a nap and then I go back to church. Dad, we're good to go. Like, I guess the typical 18th, so like, you get pissed, you get high, like, you do all these stupid things, you have sex and whatever, and I'd, I'd just, like, I'd hate my own birthday party, and like, I love tea and food and sitting on couches and talking, so I just decided to do that. Yeah, we'll take Mum's car. Okay. Such fun, such fun, such fun, such fun. Dad, are you going to change? Huh? Are you going to wear that? Yeah. What's wrong with it? I mean, you could at least fix the shoes. Look at those. They're mean shoes. Are you excited, Mum? It's her birthday party. Whoa. And it's going down. And everyone, everywhere. People just chilling. Um, yeah, we're just we're just hijacking this. <laughs> Lisa, it's not as bad as your rap you did the other night. She was like, "Bitch, just saying holes." Like Delaney. It's easy to rap, bro. I'm having my proud mum moment. <laughs> Here's him, so nice at stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ellen. She's a person who loves and looks after me. She's a horsey lady. She loves this horses. Is Mike. And this here is Mike. Do you and Mike, those? Mike loves me as well. He's mm, my motorbike man. Yes, my horsey yes. lady, and they love each other. Um, Mike and Alan are pretty much like my like mum and dad that I never really had, which is kind of hard for me to say. Um, I've always wanted like a mum and dad and like, I kind of, it's kind of hard for me to treat them as if like, as if I love them, as if they're not just like a couple of, another you know, bunch of caregivers. Uh... A relationship is a love, love. Love hate. No, it's not really. I hate it. Do you hate me? 
Mm. Oh, I just, I didn't care about the people that I hurt. I didn't care about the people that are pissed off. I didn't care about the people that I stole from. With my canal, it's just like, it's completely different. I love them. They're my family. Like, they're my everything. They've brought me into their home and they love me and they think the world of me. <laughs> Hello. Who's that? What the fuck? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, <laughs> I feel grateful for having my family, you know, really supporting in that, very loving and very close, I'd say. My family has always been very open about everything and I can always talk to them whenever I need to, my mum especially. She kind of makes me make my own choices. She guides me quite a bit. I like making my own decisions. Jamie Oliver. Hey, 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 hey. Can I do it again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. No, no playing at the top. Give it the bass. Two bass. Three. Three bass. Yeah, give me four. I love to dance, but like just lately my body's not being challenged. And yeah, I feel like I need a... And I know contemporary will definitely challenge that, but... Yeah, I'm just looking at something that I want to do as a more as like an alternative career or something that will complement my dancing. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands? Yeah. If you tell the truth, I'll give you a chewing gum. Did you wash your hands? Okay. So I'm still tied between studying dance or psychology, sociology, or even looking at maybe communications. Father, okay, you're not eating them. Father, son, I just want to eat Okay, father. So, how would you describe me? Smart ass. <laughs> no. Pretty cheeky, witty. No, I'm pretty proud of you. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay. What do you think I'll end up doing with my life? <laughs> um, smoking crack on the corner. No. <laughs> no, I'm just crack joking. Crack did it again. <laughs> I want Craig to realise his full potential. I want him to be the best that he is um, at whatever it is that he endeavours to try. Um, the only thing that I hope is that he... Um, becomes a bit stronger in iro te te ao Māori, um, korero Māori i ngā wākatua, uh, te tiro ki te ao i rotu i te ao Māori, kaore um, ki te ao te ao i rotu i te ao pā. Pākea! <laughs> There's this factory place just on the other side of town and we call it the University of Mōrua because that's where a lot of People who have just finished high school or drop out of high school go in this area. Quite a lot of people who actually work there, like a lot of family. It's because it's good pay there. I think what made me want to go to uni is hearing my family and all of them talk. So like my mum, my aunties, my nans and them. Because they always talked about how 
how people don't expect much of Māoris and how Māoris aren't, um, they aren't thought highly of. And yeah, so when I finish school, I, I hope that I can go to a uni to become a doctor and then, yeah, go from there and show the world that Māoris can do stuff. So you're going to stroll up there on your husky? Well, hopefully. that is hopefully, if I can get it going. Scratch start. So now I'm going to chuck the new one and should be good. I hope to own my own car mechanics and bike mechanic shop one day. I want to have a job where I do something different every day, which is kind of hard to find. I don't know. To have a wife and kids, obviously. Um, I don't know. I want I want my kids to have the light, the complete opposite of what I had. I want them to just have a normal mum and dad and grow up with dirt bikes, obviously. But I'm passing that little metal helmet down there as well. It'll be a little bit tighter, but it's still like this is like perfect kind of fit for me. Look. <laughs> look, look at that beautiful girl. Say hi. Hi. Go, say hi. Hi. Five years. I'll be 21. I'll get a job. And I'll probably move, I don't know where. I'll probably stay in Strathmore, just in a different house. But the place I've always wanted to go to is Paris. It's the place I've always wanted to go to. I would like to live in Wellington and I would hope to go to either university or be in a like stable job that I ha would have for a long amount of time that pays well. I'm passionate about women stuck in the sex trade, passionate about people knowing they cared about. I'm quite passionate about global poverty. And I think when people say, if we can't help our own, then we can't help anyone else. Who said we can't help our own? No, I just think it's bullshit for people not to care about other people. I think that there's a lot of people out there who would do something if they knew what they could do or if someone just told them. So I've kind of made it, I guess, my mission in life to make people care and then show them what they can do with that. I read this really, really good quote and it said, the world only goes forward because of those who oppose it. So it's the people who ask why to get the world to move forward. And that's why I started asking why. We have Danielle in studio today. So Danielle, would you like yeah. to tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, sure, okay. My ultimate goal in life is to get to an old age and have absolutely no regrets in what I did with my life. I want to be able to sit there and go, wow, I really nailed it. I want to be able to say I made the most of every opportunity and had fun every day. I want to be happy in my future. I want to have lived, loved, lost and wandered. Keep climbing. I want to experience what it feels like to be a human being. Pretty, what does it say? Uh, Look at me. Crown. Wait, how's it cool? What? I just really like this. <laughs> this is what I'm asking. <laughs> 